Allo, bonsoir. Bonsoir à tous. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Emmanuel. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Bonsoir, Emmanuel. Bonsoir, to everyone. So, how are you guys in Ramadan? Bulan puasa. Hope you guys are all well. Uh, so looks like we are not. We can't even go to bazaar. Tak boleh pi bazaar this year. And some of us can't even balik kampung. So okay. I hope you guys are all well and healthy. So I will give you, uh, if you guys remember, I have some exercises, exercise that I gave you, what is this, exercise that I managed to give you last week. It's, uh, it's about leh, which is uh, time, ataupun the literally translated to the hour. This one, it's not the hour, it's more to hour. But they call it Lech. Yeah, good. Good to know that you guys are still alive and still well. Also, always take care of your health and Gloa Bakai Mas. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so, I will go through this one. We have the answers. I will, uh, I forgot to also mail you. This one. Wow, okay. It's okay, Tapa. We'll just go through the answers one by one. So, I think I will put his here. Oh, no, no, no. Just go through here.
So I hope you guys can see my screen. I think I'll just go through quickly on our class last time, which is about time. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Okay, it's around here. Space uh, settings. Okay. So we have we have two different standards of time in French and Francais. They have the 24 hour system and also the 12 hour system. So they they sometimes use the 24 hour system and also sometimes they use the 12 hour system. 24 hour system it's uh, the official time. Uh, they they use it for officially offi uh, formally but for the 12 hour system they use it as a uh, informal like a uh, bahasa pasar they use it for normal conver in normal conversations so we have system horaire de 12 heures and this one system horaire de 24 heures 24 hour system and also 12 hour system Okay, we have uh, this video. I think we can just go through our next slide. So these are the examples of uh, telling time in French. The question they usually ask about time is Quelle heure est-il? Quelle heure est-il? Okay, uh, page 36. <coughs> it's either Quelle heure est-il? Il est quelle heure? Quelle heure est-il? Il est quelle heure? So this is 12 hour system. Uh, 12 heures. Uh, système horaire de 12 heures. And système horaire de 24 heures. We have 12 heures, 24 heures. Ici, here also. 12 heures, 24 heures. <coughs> okay. For 12, uh, for 12 heures, Usually, it's uh, you tell the number yang ada kat sini da, dalam 12 jam je. We also telling the uh, contohnya matin is uh, morning. So you need to tell usually lah. I mean, if you can also say for this one is une heure, satu pagi. You can also say il est une heure. But it is more, it is better if you include the uh, waktu. I mean, what to pagi, so il est une heure du matin. Il est minuit, it's it midnight, it is midnight, so basically there's no uh, il est zero heure, you can say, but it's uh, system de plomb job. Next is il est 10 heures du matin, c'est pagi, and this one il est 10 heures, ça adieu. Il est midi, code blast. Il est 12 heures for 24 heures. This one, après-midi is afternoon. Il est 1 heure de l'après-midi. Here, for 24 heures, il est 13 heures. For this one, il est 7 heures du soir. This one is, il est 19 heures. It is uh, Simlamblas, beaucoup Simlamblas. But this one is usually formal. So, Informal, formal. Informal, formal. I usually use this one. But uh, sometimes I also use this one. This column for informal. Sometimes the car office, I can also use this one. But with my family, I use this one. 12, uh, 12 heures. System over 12 heures. Okay. Next is... Uh, Il est 11 heures du soir. It is uh, 11 p.m. 11 at night. Or you can say for system uh, 24 heures, il est 23 heures. Il est 23 heures. So if this one, uh, kalau pukul 1 dan ada 10, il est 1 heure et 10. And this one, il est 1 heure et quart for 1 suku. Kalau 24 heures, they can always mention the numbers. So, il est 1h10. I think pretty much the same as this one. 
But this one is a, they say il est une heure quinze. Satu jam uh, pukul satu lima belas. This one is pukul satu suku. Il est une heure et demi pukul satu setengah. Il est une heure trente pukul satu setengah juga. Tapi satu tiga puluh. This one is normal. For this one, il est huit heures moins le il est huit heures moins le quart et tu es la pantola suku. Which is similar, uh, which is tujuh empat puluh lima. <coughs> and this one is il est dix neuf heures quarante cinq. Kita mention the number. And last but not least, il est huit heures moins dix. Il est huit heures moins dix means it is eight o'clock minus ten. Minus ten means tolak sepuluh jadi tujuh lima puluh. Ataupun dalam empat quatre is il est dix neuf heures cinquante. Okay, I think. This one is just a uh, repeated of what I mentioned, uh, what I taught you last week. In order to see it clearly, I think we have to do the exercises. So we have the answers on right hand side. And the questions for left hand side. So number one, oh, okay. Quelle heure est-il à ta point? Quelle heure? Meaning, uh, what is the time? The first question is <coughs> three o'clock twelve. So we will answer. Il est trois heures douze. Il est trois heures douze. Just can put A pun boleh, tak ada A pun tak apa. This one is il est neuf heures trente for <coughs> this one is for a uh, uh, system vingt quatre and this one is for system douze heures. This one uh, for untuk dua puluh jam. This one is for dua belas jam. You guys can answer either one also is correct. Dia tak kisah pun korang nak jawab dalam sistem dua puluh empat jam ataupun dua belas jam. For number three, it is il est onze heures dix neuf. Il est onze heures dix neuf. Just put the Hour, which is ounce, and just put the disnuff, which is uh, number nine plus. Eight fifteen. You can say il est huit heures quinze, or il est huit heures et quart. So eight o'clock fifteen, or uh, la pas suku. Eight o'clock and a quarter. Pour numéro 5, il est 5 h 51. Il est 5 h which is 5 o'clock, 51. 51 is 51. À tapon, quand on écoute système 12 heures, système à deux places jam, il est 6 h moins 9. 6 heures, maintenant, uh, 6 o'clock, minus 9. Minus 9, which is minus 9 minutes. Which I don't really like this pronunciation. I like, I, I think it's better if you guys use this one. But up to you. Kalau dalam exam, dia bertanya, you guys can answer. I think you guys can answer whichever, whichever you want to answer. Either 12 jam ataupun uh, 24 jam. <coughs> Pour numéro 6, il est 10h45. 
10 o'clock 45 ou il est 11h moins le quart. Il est 11h moins le quart. 11h moins le quart, meaning 11 o'clock minus uh, a quarter, minus kiranya tolak suku. 11 tolak suku. 7 is il est minuit, it is midnight. Il est minuit. Numéro 8 is il est midi. Il est midi. This one you guys can also say il est zéro. But this one is for 24 hour system. And this one is il est sim simplement, uh, simply 12 heures. Avec un S. Oh, ils sont allés. Numéro 9. Il est 7h14. Il est 7h14. Tu joues pas blas. Numéro 10. Il est 4h35. Il est 4h35. 4h35. 4 o'clock 35. Or, this one not so easy, I mean, a bit leche lah, nak kena tolak pula. Il est 5 heures moins 25. 5 o'clock minus 25. We are number 10, so this one. Numéro 11, il est 9 heures. Il est 9 heures. You guys can also say 9 heures du matin. That's why I said, kalau tak tambah pun tak apa. Tambah pun bagus, Inspector. Numéro 12, il est 3h30. Tampon, il est 3h30. Numéro 13, il est 5h20. Il est 5h20. Numéro 13, il est 5h20. Numéro 14, il est 6h09. 6 h 9 I will send to you the answers. Huh? I will just uh, tell you how to pronounce it. Numéro 15, it's il est une heure. Il est une heure. Numéro 16, il est 10 h 25. Il est 10 h 25. 10 h 25. Uh, the next one is, il est, dit, il est, il est 2h35, il est 2h35, attends, Chare un paling le chisque de tola, il est 3h, moins, moins est tola, hein? il y a un moins est tola, moins 25, ce bouton est moins, moins. Numéro 18. Il est 3h16 de l'après-midi. 3h16. Les bon, c'est pas dire de PM, Cassini. So, it's better to mention de l'après-midi. Afternoon, hein? Après-midi is afternoon. Après is after, midi is noon. So, il est 3h16 de l'après-midi. Oh, actually, before this, to not mention PM or AM, you guys can just mention the time without saying the, uh, I mean, saying it if it's in the morning or evening and so on. Numéro 19, il est 8h45. Il est 9h moins le quart du matin. Il est 8h45, this one. Tapon 9 h moins le quart du matin. Numéro 20, il est 11 h 2 du soir. 11 h 11 o'clock, 2. 2 is 2. Du soir, PM. Ah, malam. Il est 4 h 39. 4 h 39. 
uh, of course this one tak payah cakap matang dah sebab dia dah tahu I mean yeah, actually this one is ah betul tak il est 5 heures moins 20 et 1 uh, sorry il est 5 heures moins 21 du matin Where were we? So this one, and they want the military time. Military time is uh, 24 hours. So, 22, il est 17 heures 42. Il est 17 heures 42. 23, il est 20 heures 4. Il est 20 heures, il est 20 heures 4. La panne, panne. La panne, 8 o'clock, 4. For 24, il est 14h56. Il est 14h56. Because 14h is 14. 14 hours. Uh, 56 is 56. And finally, we have, il est 23h30. Salut. Salut, Arif. Il est 23h30. Okay, guys, we are correcting the exercise. So, this one I will send to you the answer later. So, I think that concludes our exercise on time. Atapun, l'heure en français. Okay. Any questions on time? Tapun So this one I will save and send to you guys. So is there any problem in the connection, internet connection? Or am I, uh, is my video loading ke I hope it is okay. And um, we have completed our exercises on time. So actually there's only for lesson 3. For lesson 3, it's only, we have only one more, which is verbs, some verbs. Not sure if, um, if this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So I'm trying to remember what verbs that we have learned in chapter 2. Okay, I need you guys to turn to if, if there are more if there are no more questions, I need you guys to turn to page la page 37 37 we have uh, les verbes au présent 
les verbes au présent, qui est à verbs in present tense. We have uh, <coughs> Hello, if you guys can remember, the last time we have learned about verbs is sur la page 18. Page 18. 18 is 18. You guys can turn to la page 18. We have learned four verbs that you guys have used quite a few times already. Ta this verbs and also page set. Page set. So keep the double jar. some just to for you to refresh we have learned at which is to be avoir to be avoir to have so to call oneself So next is study to page set, page set. Now page this week we have to go. Eh, sorry, Ali, to go. Next one we have is travail, travail. These are all the verbs that you guys have learned before. So I'm going to add a few more verbs to your vocabulary, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. So we have Nous avons set verb. Nous avons set verb. We have seven verbs. Seven verbs. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I am reminded by something. Hari tu ada Aiman tanya pasal uh, new verb. Uh, sorry, adjective new. So okay, we have this adjectives. I think I'll just try it down here. So new, kalau nak cakap new, is nouveau. Uh, uh, nouveau. Stilo. Stilo is pen. Uh, one of the objects we learned last week. So this one is for masculine. Here we are. Yes, Sangolier. So, color femina, une nouvelle table. Stylo, tadi pen, table is table. Femina, sangolier. So, okay, I think I'll just finish. D. Nouveau stylo masculin uh, masculin masculin 
Nouria. Die Nouvelle. Femina. So this is why uh, it's like a trend. Adjective new uni special skit. So every every sentence, every noun they are come with for masculine, uh, eja ane e a o e e a u the end, and then for feminine singular it's e l l e. For masculine plural it's uh, e a u x. And next one is for feminine plural it is e l l e s. Okay. So okay, we can also use this one. New, uh, new, new, new. Yep, I think this one is. Oh, this summer thing again. I think this one is for later on. The block. Alright, that's it. So we have to go on for next one is uh, the verbs. Le verb or le verb au présent. Verbs in present tense. We have one, two, three. We have remplir, we have parlé, we have commencé, we have mangé. And we have venir. We have mangé, finir. Okay. So, you guys turn to page 37. 37, which is uh, 37. Okay, so we have level regulier, uh, regular verbs, which finishes with uh, ER, ER, IR. So the first verb. We, we are going to learn today. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. First verb that you are seeing on uh, page 37 is finir. Finir. Huh? So, finir means to finish. To abiscan. Finir means to finish. I can update to you live here. You guys need. Oh, oh, finir that there. Never mind. So you guys can note that down. Finir means to finish. And we have uh, conjugations for all the Kataganti Nama, which is je fini. Tu fini, il ou elle fini, nous finissons, vous finissez, et il ou elle finissent. So, 
So you just note that down. And we have a few verbs here that are where you guys need to fill in. So we have remplir, 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 we have je remplis, oh sorry, remplir means uh, to fill in. Remplir, uh, to fill in. So if let's say one any questions uh, ask you to remplisser, which means to fill in the blanks to answer the questions. Huh? So remplir, we have je remplis, tu remplis, il ou elle remplit, nous remplissons, vous remplissez, il ou elle remplissent. Ok, this is another verb that you guys might use in the future, I mean might to use, might be using a lot in the future, which is parler. Parler means to speak. Parler means to speak. So we have je parle, I speak, tu parles, you speak, il ou elle parle, he or she speaks, nous parlons, we speak, vous parlez, uh, you guys speak or you formal speak et il ou elle parle for example you guys can say je parle français je parle français which means I speak French je parle anglais I speak English je parle malais I speak malais Venir, yep, yeah. venir is on page, page 28. Yeah. I'm gonna go through one by one. So, another verb that is also quite important, which is commencer, commencer, which means to start, which means to start. Je commence, tu commences, il ou elle commence, nous commençons, vous commencez, il ou elle commence. So this one is a special, I would say, exception. So verbs ending in C, like this one, take a C, cédil. Cesedil, which cesedil means the C, if you guys remember, C with the echo bony. When it precedes the vowels, A and O. In order to keep the soft sound. For example, you guys just remember, for nous commençons, you have to have a cesedil here. Okay, it's uh, 10.25, just can take a break for a bit. And we will finish this uh, by tonight.
<coughs> Hello guys, we are back again. Hi, semua. Okay, uh, done from the break. Okay, uh, where were we? So we are at the verbs, verbs in present tense. Okay, uh, just now we were at commencer, commencer. Okay, commencer. Okay, next we have is uh, check something. Next, what we have is uh, manger. Manger is one of my favorite verbs ever in French language, which is to eat. To makan. To eat. Manger is eat. So, je mange. Tu manges. Ça, je mange, ça makan. Tu manges, awa makan. Il, elle mange. He or she eats. Nous mangeons. Vous mangez. Nous mangeons is uh, we eat. Vous mangez is il, elle mange. Vous, sorry, vous mangez is uh, you guys, you all eat. A top one, you formal eat. Il, elle mange is he, uh, they eat. They, from point à top one, they like it. Eat. So, je mange, tu manges, elle mange, il mange, nous mangeons. Vous mangez, il mange ou elle mange. So another guideline here, so-called guideline. Whoops, ending in je, which is, uh, sorry, je, je, like this one is manger. Retain the e after the je when it precedes the vowels r and o. For example, this one, which uh, are this sim, dia, dia tak ubah the je, the je and e. So the summer saja. This is the vowels R and O. So they are they tak tukar. They just they kena maintain juga huruf E ni kat sini dengan je. Ah uh, sorry huruf E after the je. So just ingat for this one few exceptions like this one nous commençons and this one nous mangeons. Okay, the last word that we will be learning today in this class is venir. Venir. So what is venir? Venir is, venir means to come. So hello back everyone. Yeah, for, uh, for those who aren't here just now, so manger is to eat. Venir is to come. So je viens, tu viens, il ou elle vient, nous venons, vous venez, il, elle vienne, il ou elle vienne. So that we have remplir, to fill, to fill in, fill up. So uh, we use this word to, you know, to fill up the answers on an exercise. You guys can see one example. On Page 28. Page 28. 28. So, I'll number the word. You guys have your books right now. So, I'll number the word is remplissez les blancs. Remplissez les blancs. Fill in the. Yeah, fill in the blanks. It literally translates to fill in the blanks. So, we have the remplissez here, which is this one. Vous remplissez. Commencer, ah, okay. Commencer is uh, to start, to commence. In English, we also have another word for start, which is to commence. To, at point, to begin. We have, okay, we can say, commencer is to begin, to start, or to commence. So basically, mula, to mula. Parler, parler is to speak. So, je parle anglais, je parle. Remember uh, the countries and nationalities? De... So, where? Yes, 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 here. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. 
So if you want to say I speak French, you go for the masculine. The masculine punya maksud. So selanjutnya, je parle français. Here, if you speak Japanese, you can say je parle japonais. Je parle japonais. Selanjutnya English kita akan cakap lah. Je parle anglais. Je parle Without the article lah, tak perlu article lah. So, je parle anglais. You guys speak Mandarin. You guys can say, je parle chinois. Je parle chinois. Je parle. Uh, tapi kita tak pernah cakap lah, je parle American. Sebab American is not a language. So, je parle espanol. I speak Spanish. I speak Spanish. Je parle espanol. And so on. Uh, so, you guys can say, you guys can already... Say what languages you can speak. Where were we just now? Okay. Je parle. Commencer is to start. Manger is to eat. Uh, if you guys know any food, food, uh, for example, let me try to remember if you guys have learned any anything about food before. Okay, if you guys remember on page 19, page 19, page 19, ada, we have, kita ada belajar perkataan untuk cake dengan tak. So we have le gâteau. Le gâteau is cake. And then la tarte is tarte. So you guys can say je mange, je mange le gâteau. Tapun, if you want to say je mange le gâteau, which means I eat the cake. Or you guys can say je mange un gâteau. I eat a cake. I eat a cake. Tapun, je mange la tarte. I eat the tart and je mange une tarte I eat uh, a tart so manger ini memang guna untuk makanan because I eat, I eat, I eat ok next one is venir uh, last verb is uh, come uh, I come Okay, what what can we make a tissue? I think I will just finish chapter 3. At least you guys are tahu semua. So if you guys have your books with you, I know some of, the, some of you don't have. Uh, okay. So if you guys don't have... Time to look at this. So I'm going to teach you page 39 before I, I think I just finished this. Uh, if you guys don't understand this page the 20, uh, sorry, 39, you just can, you can ask me.
here. So okay, on this page 39, we have Ya, ya, tengah sabar. Okay, okay. Kita, kita relax-relax je. Okay, we have... Alamak, saya tak sempat nak ambil gambar buku ni untuk kepada yang... kepada yang siapa, siapa yang tak ada buku. Okay. So, senang cerita dia nak kata sini lah. Page 39. All utilities we use... On utilities, we use C. Dia tulis situ. C. We use C. In front of a singular noun. We are still on page 39. Huh? Say any, if you guys remember, is it is. It means it is. Use. Ce sont. In front of a plural noun. For example, below that, there's a pour identifier an object. To identify an object, So, nanti kita akan cakap So, most of the time kita nak tanya lah Objek ni objek apa? So, we say Kes Kesi So, okay, hang on there guys, hang in there Sebab kita pun dah nak habis lesson 3 ni I'll just finish this Kes kesi Kes kesi Which means What is it? Kes kesi So to answer these questions, qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? You guys can say c'est. Uh, in the book, you guys can see the examples. C'est un stylo. C'est un stylo. It is a pen. C'est mon sac. C'est mon sac. C'est mon sac means it's my bag. It's my bag. Or, okay, last call it C'est le sac de Luc. C'est le sac de Luc, which means it is Luc's back. So I give you the examples here. C'est un stylo. C'est mon sac. It's my bag. Kita guna adjective possessive. Oh, kalau nak plural, ce sont. Okay, dalam buku tu ada ce sont des clés. It is a uh, few keys. Uh, they are keys. They are keys. Clé is key. Clé is key, ya. Huh? Sac Bag Clé Keys Okay, this is for you guys to ask about objects If you guys remember from the end of chapter 2 Kita ada belajar pasal Key S So, bawah tu, you guys can see, pour identifier une personne. To identify a person. So, key S. We have this one. Qu'est-ce que c'est? It's for objects. And we have another example. Key 
as oops, uh, so no, my mistake. So tadi itu for object. So this one is for a person. So we can say say nama dia say Nicola. Say Nicola. Say mon copain. Copain means friend ataupun ami sama. And the uh, other other uh, uh, examples there. So some mes amis. So this one is for person. So you guys can say if if someone asks you qu'est-ce que c'est, which means what is it, and qui est, who is it. Okay. I haven't looked at your. Oh. I didn't see if you guys have any questions, Kida. is in ia okay uh, i'm gonna finish this tonight i'm sorry kalo a bit rushing Yeah, means there is. We have an example there, which is. Yeah, un stylo sur la table. So there is a pen. So sur sure is sure is on a on the table and another example is in here this tilo no more such there are pens in my bag so don means in you guys can always use this in ia. So you guys know the just remember in ia means there is, there is, there is. Okay, turn to page 40. 40. Okay, we are, we are, we only have like 20 minutes left. Okay, uh, I know this part memang tak berapa menarik compared to benda-benda lain. Okay. So what is Oops. Esker ni apa sebenarnya? Okay. Uh, if you guys turn to page 40, count. It's, uh, it's mentioned that l'interrogation. Interrogation is interrogation. Uh, macam uh, cara bertanya. So, 
Okay, we have two ways actually by intonation, par intonation. Kita bertanya soalan. This one is actually soalan ya atau tidak. Soalan yes or no, oui ou non. So bila bertanya soalan oui ou non, kita kena guna untuk huruf A itu ada par intonation, par intonation which is by intonation. Okay. So the first question is, tu aimes la couleur bleue? Tu aimes la couleur bleue? It means you love uh, the color blue. I mean you love blue color. And then this one is all oui ou no question. So vous êtes anglais? Vous êtes anglais? No, je suis belge. Je suis, uh, are you English? So no, I am Belgian. Okay, this one is new. Il travaille où? Il travaille où? So où ni manedia? Where? And Clara habite avec qui? Clara stays with who? Okay, I think I will. I will uh, refresh on this next week. So about this one a bit new for you. So, eske ni sebenarnya, every time we learn this, uh, every time we see eske is actually questions. So, so you guys can see the B avec eske. You guys can use a question with eske. Eske tu aimes le Japon? Do you like uh, do you like Japan country? Est-ce que vous êtes Korean? Do you are you uh, Korean? Uh, okay, I think you guys see this first, and I will just this one my mom that proper now for you guys. I think I will get back to this next week. I will prepare a presentation on Sanamski. Okay, we have 15 more minutes. I will send to you this uh, updated slide uh, dengan jawapan soalan yang pasal time tadi. Okay, sorry guys uh, to keep you all waiting. Okay, I think for the last 15 minutes, uh, I have uh, I have sent to you something. Yeah. So I have sent to you some exercises. Actually, this one is just a refresher for chapter 2. Uh, in the mail also, kalau korang scroll bawah sikit. Wait, uh, is this the one? No, I don't think this is the one. Okay, I'll give me a few minutes. A few minutes, huh?
If you guys can open the second link too, you guys nampak apa-apa tak? Can you guys try? So those are your exercises. Uh, I think you guys can do for the next 15 minutes. Uh, top one you guys can do as homework. Lah. Yep, yep. Korang boleh access ke? So, I'll just give you this revision. Revision, revision, revision. And you guys can have a look. I mean, you guys can try and do. Yep, that one. It's just a refresher for the next uh, 15 minutes. So basically, go around the base chapter 3. So I'll just, uh, actually I don't have uh, exercise for chapter 3 yet, uh, except for the exercise book, except for the book, exercises in the book. So I'll just uh, ask you guys to refresh for chapter 2, sekejap. Until 11.15, uh, you guys can do, and then uh, you guys can can continue with it as homework. So I think that's it for today. And then saya pun tak ada benda nak ajar ni sebab saya kena update slide dulu. So I wish you guys a uh, good Ramadan and see you on Wednesday. Uh, mercredi. And don't forget your attendance to Sajira. So thank you guys for attending. Uh, selamat berpuasa. Selamat bertarawih untuk esok dan uh, Rabu. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Uh, class dismiss. Assalamualaikum and bon Assalamualaikum. Bonsoir. À la prochaine. Au revoir. Bye bye.